Stop number 14 on the Cash Roll GT, or stop number 15, excuse me, on the Cash Roll GTX Cup Series brings us to, um, brings, brings us to Riverside Raceway in Riverside, California, the second road course stop in the Cash Roll GTX Cup Series Tour, second of three, that is. The third one will be a little bit later on this season at Watkins Glen. But we are here today for the running of the Bud 400, for, for the Budweiser 400, as we're set for 13 laps of racing here today. On the pole for this event here is, is one of the California's own, Charles Sanford, the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet. He won a season at Atlanta. He's alongside the winner at Rockingham, Cole Deaver, in the GM Gimmerich Chevrolet car number three. Second row sees Keith Batson in car 20, Texaco Haviland Ford, and beside him will be car number nine, Jessica Shelton, the Coors Light Four. She's on the outside. Side so Jess, one of the three drivers who's won twice so far this season. Going to row number three, sees Kyle Matthews in car 42, the Mellow Yellow Pontiac, and number 17, Levi McIntyre in the Western Auto Chevrolet. Next row, sees, sees, sees Seth Cole in car 52, the Alka Seltzer Pontiac. He'll be alongside Jesse Turner, number 94, the Sunoco Ultra Oldsmobile. Next row has number two, Dylan Young in the, in the Miller Junior Draft Ford. He'll be alongside car number 22, Dylan Poteet, the Maxwell House Ford. Next row has Zach Rogers in car number one, the Skull Classic Oldsmobile. He'll be alongside car number 21, Quentin Moore, in the Sitgo Ford. Next row has Joshua Osborne in car 31 in the Mom and Pop Chevrolet. Coming off a big win at Dover, the last race in the Tour. He'll be alongside car 26, Quaker State Ford of Matt McIntyre. He won, he won a season at Richmond and California. Next row... Next row sees car 55, Nathan Hudson in the, in the Crown Petroleum Oldsmobile. He'll be alongside car number 6, Nathan Hudson in the, Stro in the Valvoline. Nathan Hudson in the, in the Skull Classic Ford, and he'll be alongside Nathan Orman in the Valvoline Ford, car number 6. Next row sees Kev Shear in 68, the, the, the Country Time Oldsmobile. He'll be alongside car 43, Mike Becker. Next row has, has Rob Evans in number 12, and number 8, Johnny Gardner. Both of drivers have won this season, Johnny at Bristol and Rob over at um, Texas. Next row sees Phil Parker in car number 5. He'll be alongside car 29, Zachary Fitzwater. Phil won this season in the Daytona 500. Next row, William Brock in car number 4. And number 20, Mitchell Collins. Next row has Benjamin Miles in 25. And number 30, Jay Jefferson. Next row has Adam Garcia in car number 11. And number 7, Christian, uh, Christian Russell. Next row is number five, 75, Laura Chung, and number 98, Gene Sanford, two of the ladies in the field. In this right, two of the four ladies in this field here this season. <clears throat> Next row is number 10, Paul Minnick, and 71, Henry Sanford. Then it's Ryan Brommer, who won the 600 at Charlotte this season. The 66, Phillips, 66, Trop Arctic Ford. He'll be alongside Alex Miller and Car 83, the Bullseye Barbecue Sauce Ford. Or Bullseye Barbecue Sauce Oldsmobile, excuse me. Next row is 15, Jackson Haywood, and 14, Ryan George. Then it's number 18, Matt Haas, and number 27, Kat Batson, who won this season at Darlington. Next row is number 833, Jacob Thibodeau, and car number 90, Jordan Anderson, and starting shotgun field will be car number 70, Wade Brummer, in the Suns Medford Speed Rumpel Furniture Pontiac. So that's your field... Um, uh, 41 cars here for the for the second road course race of the season here. We already had we already had one earlier this season at Sonoma earlier this season and Jessica Shelton won that race at Sonoma so, so she's trying for to keep a record perfect on the road courses here. So can she do so or will the other any of the other 40 um spoil that form here today as the field as the field gets the command will get the command that gets to command the fire the engines here for the Bud 400. So the field's now rounding through turn number nine here. There's a, this is a nine-turn course here at, here at Riverside Raceway as the field comes off the corner. Pace car looks off on the pit road as 41 cars will come to life here at Sonoma, California, here, here at Riverside Raceway. And let's go racing! Charles Sanford has one on this track before here at Riverside Raceway here, and he jumps out to a lead here. 
Second goes Cole Deaver. Jessica Shelton goes to third position. Now as they go through the corner here of the cat battle for fourth, going on between Keith Batson and Levi McIntyre. Inside Jessica Shelton's car, one of our three in-car cameras into this event here today. Kyle Matthews has another as the other in-car camera, and so does Seth Cole. He has our third in-car camera in this event here today. Under the champion spark plug bridge, they go here. Shelton following Cole Deaver and Charles Stamper both right now. And upwards of 171 miles down in the turn number nine. That's how fast Shelton goes at least in the turn number nine. As Deaver and Sanford comes through comes off the corner here and Charles Sanford leads the first lap of this race here today. We mentioned 13 laps around this around this <clears throat> around this course here today. Sanford we mentioned from California and he has one here on the track. He would like to do it again here. But Cole Deaver, the man from Georgia, trying to spoil that here as he as he Pulls up behind Sanford's car here. A little classic Gordon versus Earnhardt going on here at Riverside Raceway. <clears throat> Goes down about first gear going through that um, going that through that turn here, going come off the S's here, and then it come down through through turn number seven and eight, I believe, here as they go through as they come down this track. And floor and and they'll floor the throttle for that long straightaway here, but connecting turns eight and nine. There's a little bit of a kink right there between them um, before you get into turn number nine on that straightaway here. And he'll come and there you see Charles and Cole going through that area. And Charles up to 168 miles there into turn number nine. So that's how fast he goes. We see 170 in the drivers we saw earlier from Shelton's car. So two laps in the books it is Charles Sanford leading, Cole Deaver second, Jessica Shelton's third, fourth is Keith Badson, Levi McIntyre runs fifth, sixth is Jesse Turner, seventh right now is Dylan Poteet, Seth Cole's in eighth, Dylan Young ninth, darn pace car. Dylan Young's ninth, Kyle Matthews is tenth, eleventh right now is Quentin Moore. 12th is Matt McIntyre, 13th Zach Rogers, 14th is Nathan Ormond. 15th right now is Nathan Hudson in the 15, or excuse me, in the 55 card, and Mike Becker is in 16th. Kev Shear 17th. Joshua Osborne's 18th right now. 19th is Zachary Fitzwater, and going 20th is Johnny Gardner. 20th is Johnny Gardner. Rob Evans 21st. 22nd right now is Jay Jefferson. Mitchell Collins is 23rd. There's Mitchell Collins is 23rd. 24th right now is William Brock. Bill Parker's 25th. Benjamin Miles, 26th. 27th is Christian Russell. Adam Garcia's 28th. 29th, Laura Chung. 30th is Henry Sanford. 31st is Gene Sanford. Battle of side by side going on between Paul Minnick and Ryan Brommer for position. Minnick takes position away here, but Brommer not giving up easy. And at 66 car, here comes Ryan George to the left side. He gets, he's he's going to try to get by the 27 car of Cat Bats. And they're going to go three wide off turn number nine. Look at this, guys. Here as they come out the corner. And looks like out of Georgia, Minnick had that spot. I don't know who, but. So Minnick's 32nd, 33rd is now Ryan Brommer, then Ryan George is 34th, Matt Haas 35th, Cat Betts has dropped to 36th, then it's Alex Miller, Jackson Haywood, Jordan Anderson, Wade Brommer, and Jacob Thibodeau. That's the, that's the running order right now. <sighs> As we have completed four laps of this, or third, or three laps, I should say, in this race here. But up in front of it is still Charles Sanford leading this race here as, as he um, as, as he's led all the way so far. All 
Off turn number nine, they come as, as they'll complete another lap. That's four laps in the books and nine laps remaining here today. And the lap nine laps don't seem like much, though, but on a track like this here at Riverside, which is 2.62 miles in length, it is quite a while. It takes quite a while to get the, around this racetrack here, about maybe a minute, a little, about a minute, minute and 20, something like that. Battle going on between Jessica Shelton and Cole Deaver for position. Deaver in the nine, or Deaver in the three, I should say. Shelton is in the nine. Back on board with Jessica Shelton as she tries to get by Cole Deaver's car. She runs third at the moment. And now floors the throttle all the way down to the floor here for that right straightaway here, directing off Deaver's car. Speed should be faster right now since she's close to him. Saw 171 miles right going on turn number nine earlier. So there she goes, 169, 170, 70, 171 miles an hour again. So check and see where our other in-car cameras are running right now. There's the look from Kyle Matthews' perspective in number 42 as he, run, as he runs behind Dylan Young. Matthews right now running in 10th position. Dizzy ride, isn't it? Going through that, those S's, isn't it? And there's a look from Seth Cole's perspective here. Seth runs right now, runs in eighth position at the moment as he runs from behind his buddy Dylan Poteet in the um, Maxwell House Ford. Or, yeah, Ford is what he's running there. Seth driving a Pontiac, of course. We saw how fast Jessica Shelton go went into turn number nine. See how fast Seth Cole goes into the end of that turn. Up to 170 miles per hour for Seth Cole going into turn number nine. And then he'll drift up the high side here. Some of the cars do, as I should say. We saw up ahead Poteet, Turner, and McIntyre do the same thing. <clears throat> and that lap for Seth Cole tallied at 119.485 miles an hour for him, so that gives you an idea. Laps here, we've seen, we are, we are, we are seeing laps at over 120 miles per hour. We had said that a little bit earlier. In fact, the fastest lap of the race so far, set by well, Seth himself, 120.793. Keith Bass enough far behind him, 120.731. So. Back the top 10 laps all over 120 miles per hour as we go back to the front of the of the field. And Cole Deaver closing up on the 24 car of Charles Sanford. Deaver, I don't think, has won on a road course so far uh, yet. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I don't think he's won on a road course just yet. His best finish was a second to Shelton at Watkins Glen a few, a few seasons back. But Deaver is right there on the back bumper of, of Charles Sanford's car as they go because they come off turn number as they come off tur turn number nine. Margin that time time by nineteen hundredths of a second between those front two cars. <sighs> See how much Deaver can gain on Sam for that time by not much. They're going through that that fit going through. I think that's turn six. Then they go through turn seven. Now through turn number eight they go here, and now and now they accelerate coming down that straightaway. Mm. 
Watching this battle for the late happening here. Daver closing up on Sanford once again as they come off turn number nine. That completes lap number eight. We're down to five laps remaining here at, here, here at Riverside Raceway. The margin's still 19 hundredths of a second the last time by. Shelton almost three quarters of a second back. And Deaver slides coming off turn number two, I think that was. It's going to cost him just a little bit of time right there as they come through, as they come through the S's here. Shelton now trying to close up on Deaver for position. And that's going to give Charles a little bit of an advantage right here in that 24 car, but Deaver Strong Suit has been the last half of the track, it seems like. Three Chevrolets and two Fords in the top five positions here. Chevrolets running first, second, and fifth. Fords running third and fourth at this point. So the margin is this time by. Margin is 22 hundredths of a second. So Deaver didn't lose much with that little slide job he had coming through turn number two. But you do sling it through there, that is for sure. You know, coming through the turns, we've seen, a, we've seen a number of drivers do that so far here today. And now Jessica Shelton's pulled up to the back bumper of Deaver's car now, coming up, that's for second place. Back on board with Jessica Shelton. Down the straightaway she goes here, third gear, and then at the then at the high gear right now, it's fourth gear coming up, coming down the straightaway now. The straightaway now heads into that little kink of the track here, and again 171 miles an hour into turn number nine. Now slows down to about 101 miles an hour through that area. Three laps remaining. Well, you can see how close she is to the back bumper of Cole Deaver's car as it goes down through the area. Now Keith Batson now tries to close up. On Shelton's car coming through that coming off turn number six or off, off turn number six. Batson still runs in fourth position. Fifth is still lead by McIntyre's. And now Dylan Poteet pulls up to behind McIntyre's car for that position. It's for fifth. And throw Jesse Turner into that mix. Turner's running seventh. Eighth is Seth Cole. Ninth is still Dylan Young. And tenth is still Kyle Matthews. Quentin Moore's eleventh. 12th is still Matt McIntyre, Zach Rogers 13th, 14th is Nathan Orman, and Nathan Hudson right now runs 15th, battle for a position there, 16th position, position. for 16th I should say, it's Mike Becker versus Joshua Osborne for position, Becker 16th, Osborne running 17th at the moment as they come through turn number <sighs> nine, Osborne comes to the inside and, th and floors the throttle at number 31, Chevrolet, Dead, dead even at the line between those two. Two laps remaining, by the way, between for the leaders. And Osborne forces Becker up the track here, and Joshua takes 16th away from Mike Becker's car. Kev Shear running 18th. 19th is now Rob Evans, and 20th is now Johnny Gardner. Fitzwater's 21st. Mitchell Collins is now moved up to the 22nd as he's, as he's gotten by the four car of um, of William Brock. 
But back to the leaders here, Charles Sanford. We'll see the white flag this time by. He, is, he won his season at Atlanta Motor Speedway in the Motorcraft 500. Looking for his second victory of the season. Looking to become the fourth driver to win two races this season so far. Joining Jessica Shelton, Zach Rogers, and Matt McIntyre on that list. And Charles needs those points desperately after the disaster setting he had at Dover. The white flag is out for Charles Sanford. One lap remaining in this race. Cole Deaver not able to gain anything after after that little slide he had. And I think that's, I think that's basically just cost him a shot at this race here. But unless, unless Sanford slips somewhat, though, now the, the same thing could happen to Charles, though, but... Charles knows one little slip, and Deaver and Shelton are both up on the back, are both up on his back bumper. And Deaver trying to get, trying to find any way to run. He's, he is getting help from Shelton though, but the draft obviously not as effective on a road course as it is on a, obviously on a super speedway like Daytona, Talladega, or maybe even Michigan or Pocono, which by the way we'll be heading to next on the tour. Is which Pocono by the way is next is next on the schedule by the way. Down the straightaway he goes there. Sanford's got two more turns left to go. There's one of them. That's that, that's that little kink right there in this area. And now he goes through turn number nine here. Deaver still trying to close as they come through as they come through this area. One more turn left to go. That's this one here. And off turn number nine he goes, and he is going to win his second race of the season. Charles Sanford wins the Bowser 400 at Riverside. Cole Deaver. Gave it a valiant effort trying to close up on that last lap, though, but to no avail. And Charles Sanford gets the win here today, his second of the season. Deaver finishes second. Jessica Shelton will come home third. Keith Batts in fourth. And Levi McIntyre will, will come home in fifth position. Average speed, 119.288. The average speed in this race here today. Here, gave you the rest of the order here. Dylan Pote comes home in sixth. Jason, Jesse Turner comes home seventh. Eighth position will be Seth Cole. Ninth will be Dylan Young. And Kyle Matthews holds off. Quentin Moore to finish in tenth position. In this race in this race here today. At, here, margin victory, point two six four at the start-finish line. Um... Rest of the finishing order for you here. Quentin Moore was 11th, and then Matt McIntyre, Zach Rogers, the Nathans finished together. Ormond's 14th, and Hudson 15th. Joshua Osborne comes home 16th, and then Mike Becker, Kev Shearer, Rob Evans, and Johnny Gardner was the was the, was the last of the was the last of the top 20 at least. <clears throat> I almost said the last of the finishing order, but what am I saying here? Um. Uh, Zachary Fitzwater comes home 21st, and Mitchell Collins, William Brock, Jay Jefferson, Phil Parker, Christian Russell was um, 26th. Then it's um, Benjamin Miles, Laura Chung, Gene Samper, and Henry Samper, the top 30. Then rest of the finishing order for you here. Uh, Mike, uh, Paul Minnick, Ryan Brummer, Kat Batson, Matt Haas, Ryan George, Jordan Anderson, Jackson Haywood, Wade Brummer, Alex Miller, Adam Garcia, and Jacob Thibodeau was the final finishing order in today's race. Again, average speed 119.288. The average in this race here, caution free here at Riverside Raceway. And Charles Sanford picks up his second victory of the season as he takes the Jeff Gordon colors to victory lane. If you like, if you like what you see here, be sure to subscribe to the NSCR Sports and Gaming channel. We got everything on this channel. We got NRA races. We got gaming videos. We got in our online videos, whatever the president of the NSCR is, Seth Cole desires for his channel. And be sure to check out Seth's Duracell Cup Series on this channel as well, too. I guarantee you his races are a lot better than what I have to offer. I guarantee you that. Um... Here, so that will do it here today at here at Riverside Raceway. For now, this is for now. This is James Qualls. This, this has been a production of the NCRA Offline Racing at its best. We will see you at Pocono, the Tricky Triangle, for next on the tour for the Wix Filters 400.